MacTech started back in 1968. Um, that time we were doing smelting operations, we were recovering precious metal. So over time, um, MedTech moved into electronic recycling almost by default. And by the early 2000s, uh, we were focusing more on data security. So in the later part of uh, 2000, customers were kind of wondering if they could actually recover some of the value that is by doing resale. They say, they tell us, okay, why don't you take the hard drive out, you shred it, and then you can sell the uh, laptops and PCs to reuse again. So that, that way we actually recover a lot more value than just pure total destructions. So this is what we come into um, in today's world. So destroy the data, keep the device, sell it back to market, offset all the charges, and they get a positive net return. There is a real gap between consumerism and environmentalism. And the consumer wants to have the latest and greatest technology and they want to be able to dispose of it without really having to worry about their data or what's really happening to the material. So it's really part of our, part of our job is to educate the public and educate our customers. And in that educational process is that we sanitize data. We either wipe data off of a device well, if we can't wipe it, then we destroy the media that the data is on so that that intellectual property or that personal or private information doesn't get released. Um, something else that I think is really important that we do is we recover natural resources. And we think that the ability to connect the consumer with environmentalism is our mission and what we really do. So the good news is that uh, there is a tremendous amount of outlets for your residential customer to be able to uh, dispose of electronics uh, responsibly. Uh, big box stores um, have events. There's manufacturers that actually have take back programs that you can actually mail your, your things back to them directly. Um, there's nonprofit centers and people like that as well. Again, it's really important that before you take your items to these places, that you do a little bit of research and find out how that stuff is being treated that the EPA and a lot of state agencies, De Department of Toxic Substance Control, Cal Recycle, and other things around the United States are really starting to um, penalize you know, residential customers for things that they're finding in their garbage. It's illegal to dispose of electronic e-waste in your garbage. So it's become very, very important, um, it's not only in the sustainability aspect of these companies, um, but they also are making sure that they're doing the right thing. And um, by doing so, they're not only helping the environment, but they're maintaining and helping other things happen with that. It's, it's kind of a wide open marketplace for us right now. The, the, the challenges are keeping up with a pace of change that technology is going through. And where that really takes us is into the markets of cellular infrastructure and of medical equipment recycling. There are some interesting challenges, the recovery of plastics, but the people who can innovate and solve those problems end up putting themselves on the cutting edge of being the problem solver and the person who creates the solutions. And MedTech, we really perceive ourselves as that. We are innovative and we create solutions that embrace the industry's challenges. As we continue to grow and develop and the consumer continues to recognize the need for closing the gap between consumerism and environmentalism, MedTech is in a really good position it's to move in towards closed loop types of recycling. Electronics is one of the fastest growing waste streams. You know, we, we, we've got the footprint, the technology, the background, and the knowledge to be able to solve that problem. That's very exciting. We want to solve that problem.